guys it's Ty and welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be just talking about all the books that I have on my book of the month TBR shelf and I got this idea from Constance over at Constance the reader and she recently put out a video about all the books that she has from book of the month and I think she just talked about all the books she has from them in general as well as her TBR shelf so I will have her channel as well as a video linked down below if you have not checked her out I definitely would lovely channel but I specifically am just going to be talking about my TBR shelf and I thought that I had a lot more books on my book of the month TBR shelf but I don't I don't have as many as I thought that I did but that's probably because I prioritize that shelf more than any of my other TBR shelves just because I get quite a few books from them um I usually get the max from them every month three books <laughs> So I try to make sure I am reading something from them every month just so that it doesn't get out of control. But if you don't know what book of the month is, it is a monthly book subscription service. You pay like, I think it's like $15.99 now a month. And once you pay that every month, you get to choose one book from them um, a month. And it's usually an adult book. And as you know, every adult like hardcover especially new release it's like what $27.99 so that's almost $30 a book so if you're only paying $15.99 you get to pick a book that's pretty cheap and then you get to do two additional add-ons if you want so each additional add-on is $10 that's not a bad deal so you can get potentially three books from book of the month every month which is typically what I do if they have enough options that I like because they will usually have so let's say for the month of August they'll have five August picks and then they'll have like some additional picks on the side that you could choose from or for your add-ons you can go back and choose from previous months if there was a book that you didn't get last time that you wanted you can go back and pick from another month so there you go so that's my little spiel on book of the month I enjoy them. I haven't had any problems with them. Um, I'm not subscribed to like any other monthly book subscription service. So this is my only one. It's cheap. <laughs> That's why I like them. So there we go. So like I said, we are just going to focus on my TBR books. Um, I'm not going to give like any really long descriptions of the books because I have not read them yet and I'm trying to go in order of when I got these I will try to tell you the month probably can't tell you the month of when I got them but I can give you the general time frame I got these books in and I can probably try and give you guys like a reason behind why I picked the particular books that I picked um if that's of any interest to anybody but we will go ahead and get started. So the first one up here is that I have is Not a Happy Family by Shari Lapina. And this is supposed to be like an adult mystery thriller. And I think this is like one of the first ones that I got last year. Because I've only had Book of the Month for a year. Yeah, I've only had Book of the Month for a year at this point. And so this is like one of the, one of the first boxes one of the first few boxes that I got but this is just supposed to be an adult mystery thriller it's supposed to be these really rich people and the parents died and I guess out of the three kids one of the kids is supposed to have had murdered the parents and they're trying to figure out why have not gotten to this one this is like one of those ones I keep putting off I don't think I've really heard so many people talk about this one this is probably why I keep putting it off I just have not prioritized this one so this is like just one of those ones I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it this next one I don't think I need to give a description for this one <laughs> Hail Mary by Andy Weir I don't know why I keep putting this one off especially now that I'm like on this fun science fiction kick I don't know why I haven't picked this one up maybe it's because it's so thick <laughs> and I just have not picked the time to read this one but I've heard really good things about this one I just don't know why I haven't picked this one up yet but I'll get to this one I think I got this one last summer 
as well too and i was really excited when book of the month added this one so i really don't know why i haven't gotten to this one yet but again i'll get there and then this one cast the origins of our discontents by isabel wilkerson um this one i recently not recently but within the last few months got this one um and this i got because i'm really trying to read more nonfiction, even though i haven't picked up a nonfiction in a while but i think this was like one of like oprah's picks or something it was like in her book club this was really popular at one point obviously i missed the hype train on that but i wanted to go back and pick this one up even though i've actually heard mixed things about this one but this is just basically about like the cast system i'm still really interested in this just to see where i would fall on how I feel about this one, but I have to get back into my like nonfiction kick again because I can only pick up nonfiction when I'm in the mood for nonfiction. And sometimes I'm not in, my brain isn't in the mood for it. And these last couple of months, my brain has not been in the mood for nonfiction. But this is definitely one of the ones I do wanna pick up when I get into that mood again. But I can't say when that will happen. So then this next one that I have is A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. And I think I got this one last winter, I'm sure. And the reason why I picked this one up is because I read another book by this author that I think I have here. Yeah, The Wicked Deep <laughs> by this author that I really liked. So I thought that I would like this one. And I think this is like an adult mystery maybe but the only thing that i know this is about is people are going missing in the forest maybe <laughs> so i don't remember whether or not people like this one and i was really excited when i got it and i thought this was going to be something that i was going to get to in the winter time and never got around to it so hopefully <laughs> I will get to this one soon, but this is the one that I am prioritizing like soon as in like soon, soon, but like soon before the year is out soon. So then this one is Severance by Ling Ma. And this is one of the ones where I picked this up randomly and I got this in one of my boxes at the beginning of the year. And I was just perusing on Book of the Month site and this, they, had this one out like a while ago and all i saw was it was about some a virus <laughs> in new york and y'all know how i feel about somebody in a virus and so that's what caught my eye now why i have not picked this up yet can't tell you but <laughs> eventually but i have not heard it. i have not seen this anywhere not in anyone's review but that also could be because this is older when was this, when did when was this published? Why should not even be that old? Well, it was published in 2018. So it's it's been a few years at this point. So that's probably why I haven't seen anybody say anything about it. But I mean, <laughs> we'll get there. So then the next one that I have, The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I specifically got this one in my box when I read The Book of Cold Cases. And I've already read The Book of Cold Cases because that was one of my most anticipated reads. I really enjoyed that one. So when I saw that one, um, I was like, oh, I want to go ahead and get this one too. I just haven't circled back around to this one. But I think this one follows like the same format of the Book of Cold Cases where it's like told in two different timelines. But this one focuses more on like a boarding school, I think. I think maybe someone goes missing or like one of the girls, someone dies or something or other. But it's supposed to be maybe like another adult mystery thriller horror novel. But it seems like Simone St. James kind of follows like the same sort of pattern where it's like the the alternating timeline thing. She kind of reminds me of Jennifer McMahon in that they both do that, that alternating timeline. But I really enjoyed the book of cold cases. So I'm hoping that I enjoy this one. I also have her other book, The Sun Down Motel. Uh, I hope that's the name of that. <laughs> so we'll we'll see. But this is one of the ones that I kind of want to save 
for the fall. So not really thinking about this one now, but hopefully in the fall. All of these next books that I have are actually ones that I just got. So we're doing pretty good with me keeping up with my book of the months. So this next one I have is True Biz by Sarah Novick. And this one is about some students. I think this one is more on the adult side, but this one is supposed to be about some students that attend a school for the deaf. That's all that I got for this one. Um, again, I haven't really seen too many people do any reviews for this one, so I'm not really sure where people land on this one. It's still one that I'm really interested in, just have not made it there yet. So then the next one I have here is Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, and this is supposed to be another adult mystery thriller, and this is supposed to follow like this woman that finds her husband dead in the bathroom and she is blamed for his murder. And I think she's famous or he's famous. No, he's famous. And she gets blamed for his murder. I've never read anything from Jennifer Hillier, but I have another one of her books and it's escaping me right now which one I have. But I heard that she's really popular. So that's what made me pick up this one. But I was trying to get to this one soon because Gabby from Gabby Reads is doing is reading this one for her book club. So I'm hoping that I can get to this one. Um, I was hoping to have the audiobook checked out in time. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, but we'll see. The next one I have is The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. And this is supposed to be a debut adult fantasy novel. I've actually heard mixed things about this. Well, I don't even know if it's like, mm, yeah, mixed things about this one. Um, this is supposed to be, I think more like, I want to say more like adventure -y. It's got some stuff to do with like a gin. <laughs> I'm not trying to read all that. <laughs> but it sounded interesting to me. And the people who like it, the way they described it, it sounded good. So, yeah, we'll see. And I actually from people who got, I think it was like arcs of this. That's why I ended up picking it because I felt like I was seeing people who enjoyed it had reviews of this up before it was a pick for book of the month. That's why I ended up picking it. So, but yeah, but when will I get to this? I'm not sure. So then we have The It Girl by Ruth Ware. And this is one of my most anticipated reads for this year. And so, okay, so, I had hit or miss <laughs> with Ruth Ware. And I say hit or miss because I've only read two books by Ruth Ware. One was a hit and one was a miss. This one sounds intriguing to me. So this is supposed to be an adult mystery thriller. And it's supposed to be like, there's like a group of friends. I think one of them died. Somebody went to jail for the murder, but then that person died in jail. And then they come to find out, someone tells them that the person that died in jail they don't think that that person actually killed the person in their friend group. So now they think it might be someone else. So now they have to figure out who it was. Hmm, that sounds interesting. So yeah, I'm hoping to get to this one sooner rather than later. But this is a chunky book. Well, it's only almost 400 pages. It just feels chunkier than I thought it was. Um, I've also been hearing mixed things about this. So that's disappointing. But I also feel like I always hear mixed things about Ruth Ware's books. You either like it or you don't. So the two books that I'm talking about for her was I did not like Turn of the Key at all. Did not like that one. But I liked The One with the Snow. But I liked One by One. So we'll see if I like this one. So then I have Upgrade by Blake Crouch. And this is supposed to be maybe like an adult science fiction and so I've read one other thing by Blake Crouch, which was Dark Matter, which I thought was fine at the time that I read it. And I have Recursion, which I have not read that one, which I want to read that before I read this, which I actually want to read Recursion sometime this month or the next. But um, this one is supposed to be about this man and like something about another virus and like his genome is hacked. <laughs> but I've heard good things about this one. But like I said, this one will not get read until I read Recursion first. And I've heard that people really like Recursion over Dark Matter. 
but I don't know how this one falls in out of the other ones. So we'll see. But this one is one that I hope that I can get to pretty soon. Now these last three are ones that I actually just got this month. So that's exciting. So this one is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. And this one is an another adult mystery thriller, if you can't uh, guess the theme of this. I tend to get a lot of mystery thrillers from Book of the Month. <laughs> and this one follows a family that's like celebrating, I think a grandmother's birthday? Yeah, and then the grandmother like dies or something and then the rest of them are starting to die one by one, I think. <laughs> I ended up picking up this one because I, last winter, I read Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney and freaking loved it, even though I almost DNF'd that book. But I ended up loving Rock, Paper, Scissors. So when I found out that she was coming out with another one and it was a possibility that it was going to be a book of the month pick, I had to get this one. So I picked it up. Oh, when will I get to this? Mm, I don't know. Since these are newer ones, um, these aren't really that high on my priority list. My older ones... I'm gonna try to get to those sooner than these, but we'll see. My next one is Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter. Karen Slaughter is my girl. It's funny that I say that because I only read two books by her, but those two books that I read by her are really good. I have a lot of her other books. I'll get to those eventually. <laughs> but I really want, I just wanted, I had to have this in my hands and I got it. So, but this is about a girl that was murdered on her prom night I believe and then years later they are trying to figure out what happened so again another adult mystery well it's Karen Slaughter so we know what this is about <laughs> so I can't can't wait to get to this this last one here is The Devil Takes You Home by Gabino Iglesias and this is one of those picks that sounded good I think it's like an adult mystery thriller horror and this is about this man that becomes a hitman. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm hoping that this like becomes a favorite because I don't know much about it. And it seems to work out for me with Book of the Month when I don't know much about it and I don't look too much into it. And um, because that's what happened to me in Razorblade Tears because nobody was talking about that one. That ended up being a five star read for me. And all of a sudden it like blew up. So maybe this one will do the same. But with this book, it actually came with a translation guide. So I've never had a book come with a translation guide. Not really sure how this is gonna work. I mean, I know how it works, but <laughs> um, that'll be interesting. because I've just never read a book alongside with a translation guide. So that'll be interesting. A different reading experience so I'm hoping that I like it but I'm also hoping too this is like horror because the last few books that have been labeled horror or have horror elements have not had that but we shall see but the cover of this looks pretty cool I'm digging that but that is actually all the books that I have from book of the month that is on my TBR shelf which is shocking. And then I actually checked the books that I have on my red shelf from Book of the Month and there's not many on there either. But then I also have to remember that if I don't like something, even if it comes from them, I get rid of it too. So I've been getting rid of some of, a lot of those. <laughs> Cause books that I pick from Book of the Month have been hit or miss as well. And if I don't like them, I just get rid of them. So. But that is all that I have. I will leave my refer a friend link down below. If you guys are interested in Book of the Month and you don't have a subscription with them, I will leave that link. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's literally just the refer a friend link if you guys are interested. So it's down there if, if you want it. <laughs> but that is all that I have for you guys. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.